Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how to fix this $90 brad nailer with this $15 part so you don't have to throw it away and get a new one on Data It Yourself. Okay, so here's today's problem. These are P320 18 gauge brad nailers. This one's from July of 2019, and this one's from November of 2021, and they have the same exact problem. I dropped them and broke this piece right here. It snapped off right at the end. And what this does is it, let me, when you push down on this, it actually actuates this arm right here, right here, and makes it safe to fire. And if it's broken, then when you push the gun down with this, this doesn't actuate. Okay, so, so far so good, right? Well, as you can see, I got this. I picked this up online for 14 bucks, 15 bucks from, I think it was e-replacement parts or power tool replacement parts. But here's the problem, okay? So I put it on this one. I don't know if you can see, but when I push, it doesn't move or it barely moves. Okay, so that's the problem. Why? Well, I tried to order this from Ryobi, and you can't. Okay, you have to order the entire magazine assembly, which is $80. Well, guess what? P320, as of November 2022, is $99. So why would I want to place an, a part for $80 bucks when I can get a whole brand new one for $99. And that's how I ended up with two. Because when I dropped this one last year and broke it, I went to order this part, couldn't order the part, found out I had to order an entire magazine, and I wasn't going to spend 80 bucks to replace a $99 tool. So I bought this one. Well, then I dropped this one and I broke it again. So this year I took these in because at the time they were both under warranty and I was told, nope, this is not a warranty item. I broke it. I dropped the tool and I broke it so it was not under warranty. And again, they reminded me, $80 replacement part for a $99 tool. So that's when I went out and found these. So the problem I have now is that this end right here, this right here, whoops, sorry, under here, this piece right here is about, I don't know, let me look. I actually got my calipers right here. is about 11.32 millimeters, okay? So it doesn't seem like a big deal, right? Well, guess what? The inside of this piece is, I don't know, hang on. So the inside of this piece is, if I can get it measured here, 10.8 to shy, 10.7, 10.8. Okay, so I'm about, I don't know, about a half a millimeter difference between the width of this and the allowable width of this. And what I think these are is for an older, um, rigid, slash home light, slash Ryobi, maybe a blue tool. I don't even know if they had a blue thing. But all I have to do is I have to make this side, not even this side, but this side of the tool or this thing just a little bit bigger, and there's plenty of meat on this. Uh, and I'm gonna grind this out and see if I can get that to work. Okay, so this is measuring, looks like 11.33, maybe 11.38, maybe 11.4. Well, this is measuring, since I used the little grinder and that little flat file, uh, 11.38, 11.39, 
So I'm close. It's a little bigger right here. It's 1160. So I'm going to hit that with the file a little more in that back area, back in here, and make sure that's thin. And then we're going to put this together and see how it works. That's a good sign. Oops, and got a new tip too. Oop. All right, let's put a battery in it and try it out. Well, that worked like a champ. Let's go ahead and get that one fixed. Well, there you go. Two fully functioning 18 gauge nailers now and fixed for $35. Yeah, got two extra right there. So we'll say 50 bucks because I had to buy four. Um, I had a little trouble with this one, as you probably noticed. Uh, there was a little burr right on the side of this. Probably when I dropped it, this piece probably dug into that. So I just smoothed that out and then there was no problem with the trigger. But this one worked on the first go around. Sometimes tools just break. And having the ability to locate the right part and fixing it yourself can save you a lot of money. I tried to get this under warranty, but it was just my fault. I dropped the tool and I broke it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about this video, put those down below. If I've done something in this video that you consider helpful, consider giving me a super thanks or subscribing to the channel. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in, Subscribe button's right down there. Thanks for watching. Get at it yourself.